Okay, so here's a quick blast from the past. Yamaha Cygnus 125cc. Is it the best scooter ever for a beginner, commuter, or even someone new coming back to motorcycles? So well done, you've passed your CBT hopefully and you're thinking about getting a scooter. Well, you know what? If you want a scooter, if you want to commute, you don't want to worry about gears, you don't want to worry about your chain, lubing your chain, any of that stuff, then this scooter is going to be something amazing. I've done a couple of these reviews on my first Yamaha Cygnus, which is a 125cc. I've got another one, so that would already tell you how good these scooters are. So you're looking at a 125 Cygnus X they're known by and they're 124 cc displacement originally specs wise seat height is about 775 millimeters that means jack hole really but what i can tell you is i'm five foot eight about 30 inch inseam leg and i'm comfortable on it i can tiptoe at traffic lights or lean it over and put a flat foot down the bikes are very light bikes it's probably like 120 kgs roughly and it's uh yeah to be honest i've not looked after as much as i could do uh, regular oil changes and things like that haven't been regular I've been using it just as a commuting horse for a good seven years solid uh, after five years one of them got nicked I bought a second one for two years and then from that I moved to a 250 cc but would I recommend the Cygnus 125 cc I think it's going to be one of the best ones out there for the price there's a couple of other options you can look at the honda pcx 125 is another option the x city yamaha is another option slightly different uh, structure the way they're like laid out and stuff but this one with a front clear screen a top box and everything that you get it's actually a very decent commuter you want to keep it locked up because a lot of people are after these considering my last one got stolen so you can see this one we've got is a pearl white color we'll be honest it's a scooter so it's going to give you reasonable top speed you're looking at 60 miles per hour easily 65 to 70 if it's downhill and you got a bit of wind behind you you're not going to be winning any races on it but from zero to about 40 miles per hour it's very nippy so it'll get you around traffic you can get out of situations easily i wouldn't recommend it as a high y bike as in if you're constantly doing 60 70 miles per hour or speeds of that nature it's not going to be one of the bikes for you but commuting wise cheap as chips you can put about seven pounds worth of fuel in there and get over two weeks of uh, journeys which would be equating to about 12 miles a round trip each day which is what i was doing on it so you're easily 120 miles on the tank probably more than that to be honest i've just never noticed or worried about it it's got a nice little bowl section under the dash uh, where the fuel goes in where you can put some extra gloves and stuff as a reasonably easy to use bike everything's laid out where it needs to be laid out uh, reliability has been solid the view mirrors have good uh, view behind you so you can see everything um, and yes it's basically everything you will need if you're thinking about buying it have a look at my earlier videos that i made about this bike uh, scooter and you'll know it's not had any issues at all with while i've had it and that's seven years of use i would easily buy another one if i wanted a commuter small cheap friendly easy to use low maintenance all of that stuff so yep capacity wise in the actual uh, bike you can see as i've shown you you can easily get a jacket waterproof gloves a uh, high vis helmet in the top box as well as the seat section there's loads of space there i got a couple of chains now considering what happened before but yeah that's your lot if you're thinking about buying it in the uk currently anything under two thousand pounds will be a great price for a well looked after one you can even get them for as low as under a thousand or between like 900 and 1500 but obviously those are going to be higher mileage and probably battered about so yeah see what you like and not many boy racers buy these it tends to be new riders ladies or even older guys coming back to scootering just for convenience so normally th those types of people look after their bikes so you know you should get a good one if you pick it up in decent condition and yeah so that's your lot there remember it's not got any gears it's a rev and go scooter it's got brake pads and cylinders and pistons on the front and the back so you're kind of good stopping power 
It's a nice setup. It looks a bit relaxed, but you know what? The lights are really good in the front as well for illumination. And that's your Yamaha Cygnus 125 scooter. This is the X model. Beautiful scooter. Go and pick yours up right now.